Hey guys, it's Morgan Potroff here from Metalworks Institute, and I'm here to show you a few tips and tricks in Ableton Live. Okay, the first one we're going to look at is you can import tracks from other sessions really easily. You just click on the little triangle uh, beside the dot ALS when you go to the browser, and then you just move down to the track that you want. In this case, I'm going to take these uh, disco shots and it will bring everything in, audio, and if there's any processing, it will bring that too. This indicates here whether it's an audio track or a MIDI track. Here's something else. Live's effects have two different um, quality levels, or at least some of them do. For example, on the EQ, if we have, um, say, an EQ here, if you right-click, you can have oversampling on or off. So this actually makes it sound better. Let's see if you can hear the difference. It just makes it slightly more transparent. Now, you probably can't even hear the difference on one track playing in isolation, but if you want to do an experiment, just change every EQ in your mix to oversampling and then re-render and listen to the difference. Keep in mind, it does use more CPU. So the argument to uh, not do it is that you'll run out of CPU quicker. In many other DAWs, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of convoluted steps you have to take uh, to be able to uh, select multiple tracks and, and do some operations on them even to the point of you know, creating different groups and things like that. Uh, there's no such thing in, in Ableton. If I want to just move four faders, it's really simple. Just select these four tracks, and I can just move uh, those faders. So really, like, it's, it's pretty simple in terms of being able to move, th move faders in unison and things like that. If I have, say, four channels again, I want to adjust the pan. They just move in unison like that. Another thing is that if you are playing... Uh, if you're just playing the track. One thing you may have noticed that live always moves back to where you uh, started. So if you where what, it, what you play is what you select, which is pretty straightforward some of the time. But sometimes if you're just going over a part, you don't necessarily want to go back uh, all the time. So one thing you could do is if you hold uh, shift space, it will start from where you left off that. Here's another cool one. Let's just say I'm going to mix, um, I'm going to take some of these clips and I'm just going to throw them in here in the um, session view. If, um, if you're playing a set right now, it's 95 BPM, but if you want to um, change the tempo, you can go here. I'm just going to go 80 BPM. You have to type in the word BPM. Play that. You can see that my tempo slowed down. Let's make it, you know, uh, 150 BPM. <laughs> all right. That's all I got for today. Enjoy.